welcome to my channel. So today we are going to talk about how I handle questions slash how I handle offensive questions. So first off, we are trying to grow our family. You know you want to help out with that. You know you want to join. So go ahead and subscribe. That red subscribe button, that's joining the family. You, you know you want to click it. And then you're also going to want to click the notification bell right over there as well. So you can be told each and every time I post. Now, let's get into this. So this was actually suggested by a comment on one of the videos that I have already done. Um... And it, I really liked the idea. They said, like, basically they asked how I handle offensive questions or very personal and intrusive questions. So, there, there's a lot to that. It kind of depends on how the question is coming about. If the asker is genuinely interested and is not aware that they're being somewhat offensive then I usually try to laugh it off and explain like hey just so you know for future reference as an example um when people ask if I'm a dwarf or a little person there's a couple of ways they could be offensive with that first of all you don't know me my medical history is not your right. So it can be kind of intrusive to have like those medical kind of questions. But as long as somebody is coming at it in a respectful way, hey, like, I'm really curious. Is this what it's like? Is this what's going on? And really just wants information. Then I'm fine. I'm like, yeah, this is what's going on. I don't mind sharing. But just so you know, for future reference, not everybody is as open about their their health history and and things like that as I am so it might be something you don't necessarily want to ask everybody without saying hey feel free not to answer if you don't want to or you know not in like asking until um, they kind of offer information about it which as a typical rule as I've said if you have known me for 10 minutes I've probably told you about Turner syndrome and that's usually when that kind of question comes up. The ones that really frustrate me. I can't even say frustrate because it is, as I said, it really depends on how, how the person is approaching it. The one that really gets me, though, is this stuff about infertility. When are you having kids? Why haven't you had a baby yet? Why haven't you adopted yet? Are you working on adopting? I usually try to take a deep breath and think about the fact that they're not in my shoes. They don't know. They wouldn't know. They don't understand. If they're, if they're open enough to ask that kind of question, they have not been through what I've been through. Or they wouldn't necessarily ask. I'm fine with like, totally, completely, 100% open when, you know, we're just getting to know people and people are like, oh, do you have children? And I explain, like, yeah, I can't have kids on my, um, no, we don't have kids. I have lots of um, nieces and nephews, however. I can't have babies on my own. You know, I'm fine with people asking, like, oh, can you tell me more about why? That kind of thing. When I... I've brought it up it's harder for me when people are just like oh why don't you have babies like there's something wrong with me like I'm abnormal for not having babies and I get it on some instance I am the type of person I'm your girl is the fool that will stop people to to wave hi to babies if they if they little 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 tiny babies you know, or, you know, at least comment, oh, what a little cutie, oh, somebody looks so awful snuggled, you know, that kind of thing. I, I have no words. That's just, 
who I am. Puppies, I will stop to pet. It, just gotta say hi. I will say I haven't been as bad since my whole bout with my allergy stuff. Because I really have been kind of, not afraid to be around them. But I haven't wanted to risk having my allergies be worse again. Um, and then... I just, I, I give somebody a little bit of opportunity. That's the way I handle it. I, I guess the saying, somebody I used to work with used to say, let's give each other some grace, some understanding. I try to, I try to remember the other person's perspective. They're, as long as they're not doing it in such a way that it's like, oh, well, why don't you have any babies? I, I do try to give grace and I try to, to remember, hey, they, they don't know and give them knowledge so that when they go out in the world and they, they see other people that have it or they hear about Turner syndrome or they encounter another woman that doesn't have a baby, they might have that, oh yeah, Davina answered that question for me and she explained this is how I should handle this so it's easier for a, for a woman in the future that might be going through the same thing. Or, you know, there is such a thing as secondary infertility. They might have had one baby and been, you know, want to go try for another. And once they start, they realize they're having issues getting pregnant. So I gave them that that little bit of understanding and and helped them see how I cope. In that way, just that little bit of like, hey, this is what's going on, helps them in that instance. So again, I try to remember and I try to, I guess the teacher hat I put on and try to remember, okay, how would I handle this if it were a child asking that? Or how would I want somebody, if I were asking that kind of question and I didn't know, how would I want them to answer it? How would I want them to handle it and explain it to me? Um, and in most cases, I do give just a super, um, sorry. And in most cases, I do give just a super basic, easy, simplified explanation. And then if there's questions, again, like I said, I don't mind answering but I don't necessarily go into huge depth just because, again, if somebody says it, it might not be, like, out in public somewhere. It might not be something that there might be details about it that they don't want everybody to know personally. So I'll just say, yeah, I have Turner Syndrome. It impacts such and such a things for me. It's very different for other people. And that's kind of how I leave it unless they ask particular, like, Oh, does it impact this? Is it like this? Um, so I hope that kind of answers your question. It's, um, it's kind of a case by case basis. Let me know down in the comments if you have any tried and true ways that you like to answer questions that are kind of intrusive and you want to answer, but you're, you don't want to give too much personal information, etc. or somebody that's offensive asking an offensive question that you know they aren't meaning to be. They aren't intending to be. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we will see you next time. Thank you so much.